Alrighty folks, Blues Boy Jag here, doing another three string cigar box guitar lesson. It's sort of kind of ZZ Top, sort of kind of John Lee Hooker, with a pick this time. Yes, I believe this might be one of the very few videos I've shot with an actual pick. So, we are tuned open G. That's your A string tuned down to G, your D string tuned normal to D, and your third string or G tuned normal to G. G, D, G. This is by default the most common three string cigar box guitar tuning. By no means is it the only tuning. It's just super duper 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 duper. Did I say duper super duper common? Let's get right to it. So, if you are a six string guitar player and you use a pick, you probably know that I'm doing an upstrum. So when I start out, I'm going down up, and from there on out, I'm doing an up, and I'm choking with this hand. And that's your open G. No fingers at all. And the trick is, you're sort of kind of doing a real quick flick with your wrist. So instead of doing a big fat strum, it's just a quick flick of the wrist. Over here, I'm muting with my second and third finger. I'm not doing anything with my first finger. It might look like I am, but I'm not. So I'm going from the third fret up to the fifth fret. Notice how I'm doing a down up. And from here on out, I'm doing just up strums. But I'm not really doing just up strums, but I am just doing up strums. What? What are you talking about? Well, if you watch my hand, I'm going up and down the whole time. So I guess you could argue whether or not one of those is up or one of those is down. So, what was that? Ba da ba da ba da da. I'm just doing zero, three, and zero on the up again. So when I'm doing this choke right here, for those of you who've seen my other lessons, you probably already know this, but I'm doing up strum. I'm not doing anything with that first finger as far as fretting. I'm just choking with the second and third, and that first finger is sort of kind of bouncing around too. So you can see my first, second, and third fingers all doing this kind of movement. And my thumb is not doing anything at all. So what was that? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Starting on the upstream. If you strum closer back to the bridge, you get more of a brighter tone. to the fifth fret here, same thing. And then we're gonna go up here to the eighth and the 10th fret. Make sure that open G that you use there is real short because it sounds awful otherwise, because that's not the right chord in the key. Never mind, I won't go through all that. Now we go to the fifth fret. So 
I'm doing. So you don't want to go. You want to go. So if I show you this real slow. We'll mess that up. So I'm pressing down and then letting up off the fretboard to choke it. It's kind of fun to practice this real fast. John Lee Hooker, the king of the boogie, did a lot of really fast boogies. Notice how this never goes to the five chord. There's your one chord, there's your four chord. So you're you're playing the boogie in the one chord and then go to the five chord. But it never goes up to the fifth. Never goes to the third chord. So you have the one, four, five chord, it never goes to the five chord. It goes from zero to four. So what else can we do here with this boogie? We can do a lot of choking. Choking boogie. Maybe that's what I should call this video, the choking boogie. So I'm borrowing across all three strings. You can see this hand is doing all the choking. Now watch, when I press down on the third fret, these three fingers flop down and kill it, and this finger kind of comes up from the fretboard and that kills it. One of my favorite boogies is this one right here. I'm playing the middle string only. So when I press down, I'm only pressing down on that middle string. Then I'm going to go down to the third string on the same fret. Now I can also do that on the first string, of course, because those are both G strings. What's that, Jag? Well, I put this in a bunch of other lessons because it's something that I just can't not do. It's just basically randomizing it. You're playing the third finger up here on the first string, and then you're going to be playing it on the middle string. And the first string, of course, gets the third fret. And you can do any kind of variation of those three strings. What am I doing there? Middle string, first string, on that third fret, back to the middle string, fifth fret, back to the middle string, third fret. favorites playing all three strings starting on that middle string third fret 
going to the first string on that third fret. <laughs> forget you can do up strums on any of these strings sometimes I just do up strokes this is one of my favorite licks right here Starting on that third string, third fret. Then I'm doing the second string, second fret. Then I'm playing all three on the up. There's just trillions of different options. just doing single notes. Well, not really single notes, sort of. I'm kind of emphasizing the first string, then the second string, fifth fret, third fret, and then the third string on the fifth fret, third fret. All right, one more thing. This is something I do a whole lot. I'll go back and forth between, let's say, the middle string, fifth fret, and then I'll go to the first string, third fret. Just for an example. Then I might go down to the middle string, third fret. The trick on this one, though, is the choke. If you want to do the choke, it's pretty quick. You're choking an open chord with these fingers. Hope you have fun with that. Check out my website, jagshouse.com. Cigar box guitars just like this one since 2004. Please subscribe and we will see you next time.